So I'm going to read my book to um, Callie Cat today, and um, you can read your books to your stuffed animals, to people in your family. I have Callie Cat here with me, so that works for me. Okay, let's first do the parts of the book. Okay, go ahead and join me. Say front cover, back cover, spine. Spine is the part that holds the book together. Pages, okay. There's the title. Here's the author, and here's the illustrator. What does the author do? That's right, the author writes the words. And what does the illustrator do? That's right, the illustrator draws the pictures, okay? So let's go ahead and point and read. I d -id did it, I did it. Okay. It's written by Katie Sharp, illustrated by Maggie Fire Sprinzelli's. The d -og dog is b -ig big and r -ed red. The dog is big and red. Okay. So what dog is big and red? Right here in the picture. So maybe that's something you need to color. Okay. Because you can color in these books, right? You can use your crayons, you can use your markers once you're done reading it. Okay. So that's page one. Let's go to page two. The dog's, dog's bed is red, red. The dog's bed is red. Okay, so you can see that he's painting there. So now he's painting a picture of the dog's bed. Okay. It is the best, best one I did. It is the best one I did. So what do you what do you think he's saying or what do you think he's saying it is the best one? What is the best one? Yeah, the picture. He's talking about his art and his picture. Okay, let's go to page four. Let's see what's happening next in the story. I had to stop. Stop. I had to stop. Okay, let's see. Why did he have to stop? Looks like someone's coming in and telling him it's that it, it's time to stop and time to clean up. Let's see what happens. You did it, said dad and mom. Yes, I did, I said. Okay, so one more time. I'm going to read that with expression because we've got an exclamation mark. You did it, said dad and mom. Yes, I did, I said. So why do you think they're saying you did it? Why do you think that is? They're praising him for this art and for the pictures that he did, right? Okay, let's go to page six. You did it fast, fast. You did it fast, said mom. Okay, so she's telling him it's great because he did it so fast too. Yes, I said. You can tell I did it. Yes, I said. You can tell I did it. Okay, so they're all very happy talking about the art that the little boy did very quickly. It is the best, best red dog, I said. It is the best red dog, I said. The end. So don't you love it when you do something and you do it really well and then you feel good inside. It makes your ha heart so happy. So the little boy is happy because he did the pictures and he really likes them. So they're hanging them up on their fridge at home. Okay. So understanding the story. Okay. So question number one, what did the boy paint? What did he paint? I can hear you right now because you could say the bed. He painted the dog in the bed. He painted the dog. Um, let me see. Then number two, what color did he use? Do you remember what color he was using on his paintbrush? Oh, I can hear you, it's even there, red. Right, that's right. And who asks about the pictures? Who are the people who are asking? If you don't remember, you can look right here back and there, there's the word mom. 
And if you go back two more pages, you can see where it says dad and mom. So those were his parents. Okay. Right, I hope you enjoyed that story. When, you're, when you can um, read it easily, go ahead and then color it and you're keeping this, okay? Thank you for joining me on this reading journey today, boys and girls.